Okay, let's get this meeting underway. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is morning. Tuesday, um, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Uh, this is a meeting of the Concord Middle School Building Committee, and I am going to call roll. Alexa Anderson. Yeah, yep, I'm here. Hi. Good, mor good morning, Court Booth. Present. Uh, Heather Bout. Present, good morning. Good morning. Uh, is Justin Cameron with us today? No, no, sorry. Okay, that's all right. Uh, what about Bob? Bob Connery? I don't know. This all snuck up on us, so I'm not sure Bob's doing either. <laughs> I completely understand. I didn't even uh, get a chance to talk to him. Oh, see, there's Justin. See, we didn't talk about oh. it at all. <laughs> Justin, I just passed you, Justin. Good morning. Uh, um, Gail Dowd. Here. Oh, yes. I was going to say, I see her name on there. Hey, Gail. <laughs> yeah. uh, Peter Fischelis. Peter, no Peter. Uh, Doug Riello, I'm here. Russ Hughes. Lori Hunter. I'm here. Good morning, Matt Johnson. Present. Hi, Matt. Uh, Carrie Lavore. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Pat Nelson. I'm here. Hey, Pat. Uh, Chris Popoff. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie Parker. Here. Uh, Matt Root. Good morning. Good morning, Eric Sims. This is a new name. Eric, is Eric with us? A new sustainability director? No, he may not be on the distribution. Actually, we'll we'll introduce him at the next meeting, I suppose. Uh, Steve Staszewski. No, Steve. Okay. Well, uh, for those who are with us, thank you for um, allowing this meeting to pop up in your schedule. We know it's a little last minute. I'm going to turn it over to the, we only have one agenda item. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, so um, I'm going to let our professionals uh, give an explanation, some background, and then I think we just need um, a vote and hopefully we can uh, go on with our day. This should be fairly quick. So thank you everyone. And Ian, uh, if you wanna give us some background while we're here today. Yeah, sure. No problem, thanks Don. Um, so I sent a memo, uh, hopefully everyone had an opportunity to read the memo, uh, tried to make it as, as straightforward as possible there, uh, just explaining the process and, and how uh, we arrived at um, going back and, and uh, pre-qualifying CTA. So um, did, did everyone have a chance to review the memo at this point? Is there anyone that has not? I think everyone should have received it. And I reviewed it. Okay. Um, Dawn, you, question. You, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, the yep. only question I had, uh, Ian, was was there any other uh, potential that uh, remotely fell into that same camp deserving reconsideration? Um, I don't no. think so. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think so. You know that we there is a there is a clear case with CTA that that they just didn't provide all the information that we needed in their SOQ package, and um, you know we decided as a committee to to give them the opportunity to do that. Um, so, no no prospect of a protest uh, from from who from CTA. No, no, they they they're satisfied. I'm sure. Yeah, from, yeah. From, from anybody who uh, uh, would would uh, claim that they wanted uh, that kind of attention. Yeah, I Again, think I there think, was. Go ahead. I, I I might turn it over to Sue because I can't remember the the vendor, but there was one other vendor that um, reached out to us after the um, the notifications went out. Um, and we clarified with them, you know, why they were disqualified um, and haven't heard anything else. That's correct. Uh, that was Lazat, right? Yes. They were, they were qualified for the interior glass and glazing, but they were not pre-qualified for the metal windows. That's correct. Yep. All right. If you're confident, I'm confident. Thank you. Ian, would you like for me to put the memo up? 
Well, I don't use um, it for the benefit of anyone that isn't on our committee um, yeah. to be able to see it. Sure. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Oh, you see my memo because I've got two screens. We can see as of January 26, 2020. Yeah, we go. Good. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Um, and just for background for those that haven't and maybe weren't on our previous meeting, this was a general contractor, a GC, that was deemed not um, qualified, not meeting the criteria based on um, a rating scale that was conducted for all um, contractors uh, who showed interest in this project. And uh, this particular company did not meet the criteria um, based on the subcommittee that was uh, formed to review and, and check references and whatnot. So based on the, just the ratings, like the sheer score, which was shared at our previous meeting, uh, they were deemed not qualified. Uh, upon further, basically upon appeal and, and further information shared, uh, the rating was updated and they provided the information that had not previously been deemed, you know, part of their package um, that allowed them to then get re-rated and deemed qualified. So essentially we went from, is it four to five GCs that can now bid on this project? Is that correct? That's, that's correct. Yep. There's, okay. there's now going five off eligible. Yep. So GCs five showed interest. Four were previously voted and, and deemed qualified to bid on the project. This particular company, uh, we previously at our last meeting, um, we were shown the rating score and they didn't meet the criteria, but since then they've met and um, provided the information that was not previously shared and now they're deemed um, a qualified general contractor. So basically it means we have another contractor in the pool that is qualified to bid on our project. It's a good thing. These guys all bid competitively. So the more competition, the better. So just for background. <laughs> yep, thank you. Are there any questions for Ian or anyone on the subcommittee that might be with us today? Heather has her hand up. Oh, hey, Heather, I missed you. Hey, thanks. Um, I, so this is good news. I'm glad to hear it. It's great to have more. I'm just curious, and I hate to sound nitpicky with the question, but was there a reason that they didn't send all the information the first time? And I only ask because, you know, we want to deal with a contractor who checks all the boxes and, and I don't know, is detail oriented enough to send all the information in general. So just wondering, is there a reason or do we know why? Yeah, I, I think the big miss on their part was the audited financials. Um, we didn't get a good explanation for why they didn't send those. Um, okay. But other other areas were, were more of them clarifying um, what they submitted because it wasn't completely clear. Oh, okay, okay. And then there was, yeah. no, okay, so one thing missing isn't, isn't a- Yeah, I mean, they, so they, I, I, I should say missing. that they provided a financial information, but it wasn't sufficient. So it, it, I guess it was a case of not, providing the audited financial statements with all of okay. the notes associated with it. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yep. Sorry. Thanks. Yep. And, and so I had, I suspect we now have audited financials for this company. Yep. Yeah. We, okay. we have audited financials. Um, you know, we have a good sense of exactly who they're proposing as a project team. Uh, we clarified the ownership of the company. We clarified um, a, a termination that was actually a wrongful termination of this uh, firm. And we clarified some of the other, the other legal uh, proceedings that, that they have in the works. And, and all, all of these GCs have legal proceedings because it's just kind of the nature of what they do uh, with various, you know, various contracts and, and claims and that sort of thing. So, so if I just clarify for myself, so, so I understand this, everyone who achieves the point score for being qualified is can bid now. So, but you have to achieve that point score and that's what they've done. They've achieved the point score. When it comes to us making a choice, are we um, tied to the lowest bidder? Lowest qualified, yes. which the lowest yes. qualified basically bidder. says, if this, if this firm is the lowest bidder, they are qualified. So okay. of the five who showed interest, 
assuming we vote affirmative on this, um, which sounds like we should, um, it would show that there are five qualified, three qualified general contractors, and we are tied to the lowest qualified bidder. So this would yes. mean this firm qualified. And these guys bid on schools all the time. Like they're yep. in the, yeah, they're general contractors that are, you know, um, they build schools. We we all know them, everyone who works in the school industry, the K-12 industry. So I think they just got Swamp Scott in the fall, if I'm not mistaken. They so did. yeah, these guys are, um, you know, they're general contractors that build schools. So they're, they're not people we're unfamiliar with. Right. So um, I just want to sort of uh, clarify again for myself that um, having met all of the criteria, getting the appropriate point scores, um, and having that's the only thing we can go off of what what we've heard in the past or what we've what we you know ever it what runs around in the rumor mill or anything can have nothing to do with that. It's really just this point scores. Yeah, yeah, we we evaluate <laughs> them based on their statement of qualifications and and all the information that they provide in their statement of qualifications. Um, part of that process is reference checks. So we did our due diligence with references. Um, we did it with all of the GCs. You know, it's kind of we want to make sure that we're measuring everyone the same across the board um, when we're when we're evaluating. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, um, any motion? Ian, do you have any language that needs to be specific um, to what we're doing here today or can someone just make a motion? Um, I, I would just say to uh, accept the amended recommendation by the pre-qualification committee. Okay. I can make that motion. I'll move that we accept the recommended Sorry, what did you say? Edit to the pre-qualification. Yeah, the, the, the amended recommendation. Amended recommendation. Okay, thank you, Heather. Do we have any seconds? Second. Thank you very much. Who was that, Chris? Chris. Chris, I thought I recognized your voice. I didn't see you highlighted. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Uh, any further discussion? Okay, let me take a roll call vote. Alexa. Yes. Court. Aye. Heather. Yes. Frank? No Frank today. I'm always looking for him. I haven't seen him. Oh, okay. wait. I see Sue Cannon's name, but I haven't. Hmm. I don't see Frank, him. If you're with us. He just came vote. on to the audio. I mean, to the, vi the video. Thumbs up, Frank? Sorry, no. Oh, no. I don't. Okay, we can come back to him. Okay. I think we have enough to vote. Peter. If you stop oh, yeah. sharing, I can, we can see him better, but I don't see him. Well, Mike. I lost my connection. Did we, did we vote yet? Oh, we're voting, and I haven't I haven't called on you yet, Charlie. So hold tight for one second. I don't think Peter's with us. Um, I'm a yes. Lori Hunter. Yes. Matt Johnson. Yes. Thank you, Pat Nelson. Pat. Yes. Thank you, Chris Popoff. Yes. Thank you, Charlie. I'm yes. You're with us. Yep. Great. Good to have you back, Matt Root. Yes. And I don't think we had Steve Krzyzewski with us today. All right, so the motion passes. This is great news. And thank you to the, the committee that did all the hard work and uh, ended up meeting and reevaluating this. So this is great news. We have five pre-qualified general contractors that can bid on the project now. Anything, thank you all. Yeah, anything else? I think that was our only agenda item. We we're looking to get that before today, right? There was a deadline this afternoon, I think. So thank you again for everyone for adjusting our schedules to allow this meeting. Just thanks to the team for spending the extra time with them. So we have an extra bidder, much appreciated. Yeah, You're good welcome. work guys. Yeah, all right, uh, with that, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. All right, Second in. thank you. And thank you very much. All right, once we lose.